My name is Jordan Lewis. I'm the Assistant Returning Officer for the election this year. Um, for this election and basically all that means is I oversee the running of the election here on campus. Um, I'm very pleased to say we're in day four of voting. Uh, I'm sure all the candidates feel like we're in day four but you're all doing amazing so keep going. Um, and I'm very very happy to say that we have had over 2,000 students who have already voted. So let's have a round of applause for 2,000. And a lot of that is down to the hard work of our candidates and our campaign teams who've been out speaking to students, um, getting them to, to vote and talking to them about things that they want to change here at Middlesex. Um, for those of you who are students who haven't made up your mind yet or you're not one of those 2,000, then do go over to the back. Um, we've got one of our voting stations open. Um, so if you want to cast your vote tonight, then um, make sure you head over that way. Um, you might want to wait in here and see what some of our candidates are saying before you make up your mind and go and cast your vote. Um, but we're here all night, so make sure you go and do that. Um, uh, tonight you'll be hearing from all your candidates, so um, you'll be getting to ask them all those burning questions that you've had, as you've been seeing them walking around, reading their manifestos. Um, we are going to be accepting uh, questions on pre-written um, slips that have all been left in your chairs. If you do have any questions, make sure you put them down. Um, we're really clear about the, the position that you're asking a question for, um, and hand it to somebody in purple, and then we will look at them over here and then ask them out to the field. All the questions should be applicable to the whole field um, and not to one or two individuals. Um, I, the next thing that's left for me to say is please show your appreciation for um, all of our candidates as you welcome onto the stage. Um, it is a really, really big position that they've put themselves forward for and it's a great thing to, to do. Um, quite nerve-wracking standing up here in front of all of you guys and uh, pitching themselves to you. So make sure you are supporting people. Um, you are encouraging, you're whooping, you're cheering, you're hollering, um, all of those things to make sure that the candidates feel as welcome as possible by you guys and the lovely audience. Um, we won't um, be accepting any booing or jeering or any um, uh, heckling from, from the audience, um, so please do remain nice and, and cheer everybody on. Here to moderate all of the, the proceedings and chair over tonight is a very, very special guest of ours from the National Union of Students. Uh, we represent over 7 million students across the UK. Izzy is currently the Vice President of Welfare and was previously an Education Officer at the Birmingham Guild of Students. So please give a warm Middlesex welcome to Izzy Lenko. Or who have submitted a pre-written one-minute speech to ask before the event. 
There are question slips around, dotted around, um, and with some pens. So if you do have a question, whack it onto that slip and put it in the air, and someone in a purple jumper or t-shirt will come and grab it from you and get it up here to us on the stage. Then um, what I'll do is I'll ask as many questions as we've got time for. So we'll take them in rounds of three. Um, reminder to everyone writing a question that the questions have to be applicable to all candidates and make sure you're not just singling out one candidate because then it won't get read. So make sure if you have a question you're making it relevant to every candidate in that election. Um, we are live streaming on Facebook Live, so hi everyone at, hi everyone at home and <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're watching you can also submit questions on the Facebook Live and we'll be looking at, at them um, throughout the night. The hashtag for the night is hashtag MDXSU elections. And um, if you want to tweet me some jokes and I'll read them out throughout the night, that'd be great. Or fun facts, um, I'd really appreciate that, so get on that. Um, every candidate will have the right to reply to every question, um, so make sure, like I said, that it is relevant to every candidate, because everyone will reply to everyone. And um, just to reiterate the student staff protocol um, when you're talking, um, in your speeches and stuff, reminder that staff aren't accountable to students in the SU election. So that's it from me. So, the first candidate, like I mentioned, first position up tonight, is the candidates for Vice President, Art Design and Media and Performing Arts. If you're one of those candidates in that election, please can you come up to the stage. And huge round of applause to everyone second that election. I want to make Middlesex the place that I know it can be, and I want to be your home as much as it is mine. 
I want to be the Vice President of Art and Design, Media and Performing Arts because I believe that all this will happen and I think if we do this together it will happen. So great for me, Lucy Holland, and then let's get to work. Thank you. <laughs> We've got some questions um, that have come in on the slips. We'll answer, um, Lucy will be first, followed by Tarja, um, and we'll do it in rounds of three. So I'll read the first uh, three questions, you'll have um, some questions, um, and then we'll do another round if we've got time. Just a reminder to the audience that um, when candidates are speaking, um, please do try and keep the, min the noise to a minimum, because sound does travel um, around the quad, um, and it does kind of drown out um, the, the noise. So um, please bear that in mind when people are up here delivering their speeches. So the first question that we've got for this category um, is, what will you do in order to campaign for longer Grove building opening times? What can you do to help create better opportunities for people struggling to find work after university? I work around London. That's with my, um, the, the student-led creative magazine. Just going to um, link all other London universities, hopefully create a collaboration between the universities. And this is for all creative students to get work out there. Um, and for the better opportunities for students after they leave university, Thank you, Lucy. Next up, we've got Tarja, who's just quickly writing down questions so we know we're responding to. Uh, just a shout out to the candidates. Um, when you come up, do bring a pen and paper so when we're reading out the questions, you've got time to quickly make notes um, to respond to when you're um, up on the stage and they make uh, things look pretty easy for us and keep the proceedings moving on nicely. So the questions again um, are the, what will you do to um, campaign for longer growth opening hours? What can you do to help create better opportunities for people struggling to find work after university? And how will you help create a student network in London? So Taj, have you got that down?
let's start with Avatarja. Um, the answer to the question of food increase, um, I just feel like we need to try and create a networking um, with everyone. And I feel like everyone has to, they should do our votes. So everyone does votes and basically says what kind of foods they want and the prices of foods that they want it to be. Um, and hopefully that will make a change. In order to increase S for the housing students, uh, we need modern com uh, accommodation and we need to be closer to the uni because I feel like it's not fair that students have to walk 20 minutes in order to get a nice affordable accommodation. So I feel like it needs to be cheaper and student friendly. To increase SU transparency, I feel like the communication needs to improve because it takes a very long time for us to get in contact with some of the SU members. They need to have, for each member, there needs to be an assistant person that when one of the SU members is in the office, they have another assistant. and student counselling. The number of university students that require counselling in UK is 33% now and they should be given more help in terms of counselling. And third, I'm proposing more employability chances for the students of business and law school uh, to meet the growing demands of better and more efficient experience for years to come. If elected, I promise to give my all to my elected position and make sure 
your issues and concerns are addressed at the local union and further if required. Thank you very much.
for campus to increase more space because we have a load of people over here with less place to study. Finally, welfare, to engage workshops, counseling and support to help people balance their personal life and university. Thank you, Godina. questions in rounds of three and every candidate will have 60 seconds to answer all three questions and we're going to go in the reverse order to what we went so Dina you're going to start with the questions. So first up our first question is why is there more why isn't there more help with placements? There is not enough companies that us that we can choose from. That's the first question. The second one is what are your plans to help with mental health? What that? And the third one is, what will you do about sexual, sexual harassment on campus? So each candidate, again, will have 60 seconds to answer. And Dina, you're first up. In terms of placements, I feel like we're being prepared for jobs which either are there or not there. So perhaps get people who used to go to this university and talk about their experiences because the truth is, it's a struggle. It's not easy to get a job. So maybe create more awareness and help students. In terms of the mental health, I feel we all struggle in different areas. And we don't want to tell one another. So perhaps introduce specialized sessions where students can go individually with confidence and speak about matters which won't be disclosed to others. In terms of sexual harassment, I know it happens among men and women. And when it's among men, Nobody wants to speak about it. So maybe create more awareness and introduce more support among each other. Thank you. We're just going to go back along the line. So, um, Karen, it's okay. Um, on a serious note, placement, we need more links. So we need to get in touch with other companies and other universities so we could have placement for every student uh, in the business and law department. For mental health, mental health, if you both me, I will make sure that in every building there will be a room where you could go there if you need support or if you need help. Because currently I've been here for two years and I heard about mental health but I don't know where to go or who to contact. And our sexual harassment, to be fair they did a good job this year but we could do because we learn from mistakes and we get there and we do a bad job, yeah? Thank you. Um, so in terms of placements, um, I, I've, I've promised to work with the MDX Works for next year, so to improve, um, you know, employability perspectives for students because I don't think there is enough. Um, so I want to introduce industry-specific employability advice and speakers so that students know what's, what's out there. So that's what I'll be doing about placements. Um, in terms of mental health, you know me, I prioritize this the whole year. Um, I've, been, I've improved the counseling services, reduced the waiting times, and that's what I want to be doing and employing more staff for that. And in terms of sexual harassment on campus, that you know me, that's me as well. Um, so what we do is empower, so make sure that I, we are renewing the reporting system to make sure that um, survivors of sexual harassment is em, are empowered. So that's what I'll be doing. So I want to continue my work on that. Thank you.
first in regards with placement and uh, job uh, opportunities in uni. Uh, placement, I, uh, if you elect me, I promise I'll be working with MDX Works uh, to get more career fairs in universities so that people can attend the career fairs, uh, uh, career affairs, uh, no affairs, sorry, <laughs> career fairs, so, so that people uh, can go out themselves in the fair and ask the companies themselves for uh, the jobs. Secondly, mental health help. Uh, I want university to get more uh, mental health counselling sessions in university um, and get more mental health professionals uh, to help our students with their uh, mental health uh, counselling and helps uh, when they are whatever they are facing with uh, uh, in their exams time. They are uh, facing a lot of stress, uh, so I want their help. Sexual harassment. Uh, uh, we can more do more awareness weeks, and uh, as Erica is doing it right now as well. I, if you elect me, I'll be continuing on that. Uh, thank you. Okay, the next uh, two questions that we have, um, uh, and we'll go back down the line, so Zion, you'll, you'll start. Um, how will you better support and communicate the work of the school voice leaders? And the second question is, what are you going to do to make uh, children feel more welcome and work with student parents, liberation groups and societies? So the second question again is, what are you going to do to make children feel more welcome on campus um, and work with student parents, liberation groups and societies? And we'll start with Sahil. For more conversation with uh, school voice leaders, I'll be having more meetings with my school voice leaders of business school and law school both. And I'll be including the student voice leader in that meetings as well, so that uh, I know what's happening between the schools and I can help them or whatever they need the help with. And uh, secondly, to make children feel more welcome to the campus, uh, we can do uh, a lot of campaign for that. And uh, we can do awareness week so that people are feeling uh, Welcomed in the university, and uh, there are some. There's something happening always to welcome them in the campus. Um, firstly, I would like to deal with what I would, uh, how I would help support liberation groups and societies. I personally would like to set up a once-a-month drop-in session or a meeting with all societies slash liberation leaders so they can tell me how to best support them and their ideas and what they want to achieve and what they want to do. As for children, to make them more welcome, I, in order for, to make children more welcome, I need to make them, we need to make sure that their parents, can, they can feel that their parents can bring them in. A lot of people who have children do not feel like that they can bring their kids to university, so I feel that that's where we should start off first. Thank you. Right. Um, so to improve uh, support and to get more involved, for school voice leaders to get more involved, first off, your emails need to work because they're not working currently. So I'll be making sure that you guys are going to have your emails working. You know that. Um, and also, um, for, to make it more parents and parents friendly, maybe we should make like a, this, this idea just came in, so maybe we should make like a big fair so that parents can come and have socialized networking. I also want to make, create a part-time roles for parents and carers and communities um, to make more societies and liberations involved. I work a lot with societies and I know that, for example, um, equipment is a struggle for you guys to, uh, to borrow, so I want to make a student-led loan store um, by the SU and also for liberation groups. I've been doing that with Shag Week, um, empowering women with sexual harassment, uh, well, against sexual harassment, um, and disabled students, I've been working with them a lot, and black liberation groups, so let's just make sure that we involve them with more of our campaigns. And yeah, that's how I would involve everyone. Thank you. A lot of my colleagues told me to, because of the boys leader, they told me to change a lot, but it was never going anywhere. And I know how it feels. Therefore, if you vote for me, I will actually, because I know how it feels, I'm talking from experience. So I know that mistake won't happen again. And talking about societies, well, I'm talking about experience again. I'm our society president. And to be fair, the SU are working very well with the societies, I know. But I think there's a lot more that we could improve. And obviously, because I'm talking from experience, I know where we could improve and where we could 
Yeah, thank you. If elected, the main things that I'm focused on would 
providing transparency for all of you. And the 
lecturers now have to help them, and that um, lecturers have meetings with the library support services so they can provide specific support for individual students. The Allianz Park students, I'll make sure that the Student Union puts posters up about events over there as well as on the main campus, and maybe hold a pop up Student Union um, once a month so that they can ask questions and find out what the Student Union has been up to. Um, to help relieve stress, I'll make sure that there's events going on throughout the year, not just when there's loads of deadlines all at once and students don't want to um, do stress relieving activities. And I'll also make sure that they know where to turn when they need help if they're getting too stressed. How do you enhance? That's my favourite question, by the way. To enhance academic support, we have to spread out exams and deadlines. We also have to have feedbacks by those who have been neglected by the staff. And also, for those who have been forgetting by the allies, one issue for one of us is for issue for all of us. Therefore, we should all back them up. There's no pressure for that. How do you play? It's stress. Like I said in my manifesto, kittens and tea rooms for stress-free. Yes, success is stress-free as well. Start with Amy and then go down to Victor, Raquel, and then back up to David at this end. Um, so, the first question, um, get ready to take notes, is what are you going to do to enhance the experience of living in halls? How are you going to tackle the rise of hate crime on campus? And what will you do to create more volunteering opportunities for students of Middle Sense? And again, we're going to start with Amy um, and work our way down. Just to repeat the questions again, um, what are you going to do to enhance the experience of living in halls? How are you going to tackle the rise of hate crime on campus? And uh, how will you uh, create more volunteering uh, opportunities for students? Starting with Amy. And a reminder to all candidates to speak into the mic um, and adjust it and, and move it around. Make sure the people at the back can hear you. Um, because they're important too. Amy. So, um, in halls, I'll make sure that there's events throughout the year um, for students in halls, whether it be um, just in their individual kitchens or a big event for their whole halls, so that they get to know each other and the halls leaders can help organise them because they already exist. Um, in terms of hate crime, I'll ensure that students know how to report it 
make sure that um, awareness is raised of what is counted as hate crimes so students know what to report and what's not right. In terms of volunteering, throughout last year and my three years at university, I've been volunteering at the community kitchen and at various events that student unions held. I want to create a list where all students can access that has um, local opportunities as well as opportunities available on the campus.
time. Thank you. Thank you. values well-being, interconnectedness, and collaboration. <laughs> a community with nothing and no one left out. And I am no one without committed people that you are. If we are to rewrite the future, it will take sweat and tears of us all. That action taken by you and I, your campaigns, your movements, and your voice. One thing I promise is to bring my undying energy to make things happen 
and so that we can together transform this place. Just imagine the all great fun and friendship that we are going to build. And what's going to happen in five know. years? That's time. That is time. Just that, I'm just going to speak Thank over you. Thank you so much. I know. Okay.
I would also like to see better internship, practicum, work-based learning and job opportunities after graduation by collaborating with local businesses, organisations and winter al and recent alumni. And that's finally, time, a that winter panto. That's, that's time. That's time. Next up, Marlena. Marlena and I was nominated to go for this position. I wasn't going to do it because I wasn't sure. Unlike many of the other candidates, whether it's VC, VP or President, I'm a little bit different. I'm a mum. I have two children as well as doing everything else the rest of you do. We all have a different story and it's time that we represent ourselves. If you don't ask, you don't get. Middlesex is a business. You all are customers. Regardless of how different our stories are, we need to ask for what we want. Nothing is perfect, but we always have progress. So regardless if you're a mum, a dad, a Muslim, a carer, a granddad, we all need to be heard. Inspire, build, encourage, engage. Let's make it happen, as my banner says. Thank you. and 
I think I can do that for us. I can keep, keep us united and I can uh, better our experience, uh, university experience, and help all of us, or all of you, get a, a good degree. So vote for me for your next president. Again, we're going to take our questions in rounds of three and every candidate will have 60 seconds to answer their questions and we're going to start with Aya and go through the way that we the way we went before so the first question is how will you make campus safe how will you make campus safe the second question how will you make life easier for commuting students how will you make life easier for commuting students? And the third question is, what do you plan to do for housing? Road landlords, question mark. What do you plan to do for housing? And tackle road landlords. I'll interpret that myself. And we're going to start with Ryan. Are you ready? Okay, so for the first question, Okay, so the hair crown point system on campus calls for concern is shambles. If you vote for me, I plan to renovate the, the hair crown reporting system calls for concern. The second question is increase, hard, uh, increase hardship grants for students that commute from wherever they need to commute from. And for landlords, if you vote for me, I want to include a system whereby we recommend landlords to students. They don't have to go through, through it by themselves, it involves the student union. As we know, there is very less people available during the night and people have seen students coming to, to the campus only to the night time to study. And security cars, there is very less over here. Second thing, we need, we need to increase first of all those them, like all, all of them. And second thing is to make the life easier for the community students. Like then we, we can only do that by providing more and more of services of rail cards and everything so that it can be at least cheaper. We can reduce the distance, we can reduce the cost. Right. For the second, uh, third thing is the landlord uh, facilities. We don't have any fears of having land, local landlords coming in and providing the opportunities to the students. And some of the students, Arukel said, that they are suffering actually with the bad landlords. Right. We want to see the students that who the landlords are, first of all. That's all it is. Thank you.
So in keeping campus safe, we want to revamp security and in, uh, improve the reporting structures to go through to report of concern. I also want to upholster the hate crime campaign in the SU, build a bigger community to uh, lobby the university. In terms of commuter students, we want to further build the student union community for student, uh, commuters, build network students so they can get lift shares if they come from a long distance, and also ensure that students who commute aren't penalised for coming five minutes late for a lecture if they've travelled two hours. Also in housing, I want to continue working with Steve Kahn's quality team to make sure that we have better student better stuff for students across uh, London and also want to work with Student Paddock University to make sure that we get a green list of good landlords for students to use when they go to private rented housing. Thank you. How do you make campus safe? As a president, I am committed to introduce on the call helpline service. For example, instead of calling 911, you can call our MDX online. So if you can do that, people, students can call that number whenever from wherever, right? Second question, how do you solve the problem for the community commuting students? I believe that the only way to solve that problem is to eradicate the 9 a.m. lectures for all the courses. What do you plan on doing for the housing? Two solutions. A, provide more housing fare. B, partner with local housing agencies and landlords and make them accountable for their actions. If there is a check and balance system, that is the only way we can solve the work landlord problems. Thank you. In relation to uh, campus security, um, uh, in, to ensure that we're all safe, I would like to, as many have mentioned, uh, improve. Um, with uh, CCTV cameras, uh, better lighting because if you see in, by the grove, there's hardly any lighting, and, and it's as this is an open uh, campus, it's really difficult to to be safe. Um, I also I also would like um, to bring in uh, some sorry. Uh, Reporting, uh, a better reporting system in order to keep us all safe. Uh, when it comes to commuter students, um, I will be pushing to build a commuter students community in order to, be, uh, to better representation for them and make sure their voices and issues are heard about. I will push for support for students when it comes to tackling rogue landlords because Sorry, that is unacceptable. <laughs> I really apologize for shouting beforehand. I hope I haven't scared anyone. I'm just really passionate about it. So, so. <laughs> about safe campus, it's a funny thing. Once I left the laptop there and, uh, and happily it was uh, brought back there, but I couldn't really access it. So I would love to have more uh, actual officers on campus, especially on the late hours. But I really like the idea of creating a service where we can actually, I don't know, message someone and get someone in a specific place, like, okay, here I am, can you help me now? Um, so that's the one idea. For all commuting students, I'm a cyclist, and only if you can, if you live like half an hour, then I really encourage cycling. This does a really amazing job for well-being. Um, I don't really have any ideas for students commuting for further because I haven't been commuting really for like the last two years. I think looking into some partnership with TFL would be an amazing job to do, uh, only if we can. And the third thing about housing and working landlords, I would like to create a position at the Students' Union uh, who deals specifically as an intern uh, about agencies around Barnet. It's time, that's time, thank and you. Work with no, 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 that's time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Transport, um, yeah, it's quite difficult to even be a nursing student to get to and from a place. It's 
quite expensive because the cost builds up over time. So we could work with transport and get um, discounts for that. Um, what to do with housing? Last year, our, my landlord and myself, it was quite difficult to get my points excavated to work because I was the student and she was the landlord and I was wrong every time. So hopefully going forward I can build on that. Okay, thank you. Um, the next round of questions, um, again, we'll take it in three, um, and then I'll, um, we'll go backwards this time. So, Adriana, you're going to go first, then Rajiv, then Ben, Malena, Vinny, Taranja, Baya, Demi, Martin. Um, so, the first question is going to be, how would you cut the cost of food um, and bring more variety of foods on campus? How uh, are you, as president, planning to help the international students? Um, in terms of finding jobs and um, what will you do to help employability did everyone catch that so the, the first question was how would you cut the cost of food on campus and bring more variety of foods the second question how are you as president going to uh, plan to help international students in terms of finding jobs and the third question what will you do to help employability and we're going to start with Adriana then Rajiv and go backwards that I'm not very happy with um, the food uh, right now. Um, I'm a pescatarian and I would like more variety and I think we need to get rid of what we have right now in order to bring something better and more variety to all of us. Um, in relation to helping students finding jobs, I think we need more career fairs. We need to work with uh, MDX Works in order to uh, better their services and helping uh, international students uh, finding jobs um, and sort out their visas. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I just summed it all up in two. But yeah, thank you.
to make sure that we give our opinion on the contract. I'm not sure if you're aware, but because Chartwells are here, no other food can come on campus. So when the next contract is sorted out, we need to make sure that we discuss the whys and wherefores of the contract. But until they're out, not much we can do. In terms of the visas, we probably need a role, someone who actually specifically deals with the visas. I don't know a lot about visas, but I know some of my classmates can work, some can't, some can leave the country, some can't. So if we have someone whose job it is to connect, this also goes back to what I said about community as well. If Middlesex is more than just a logo around Hendon and starts connecting with local businesses, there's probably opportunities there where they can connect. Um, employability, mm. um, I don't really know what to say about that because they're not used to people who are enterprising. Students of today are Thank not you. enterprising. Thank you, that's time, Cabinet. Thank you. In terms of jobs, we've already got synergy with WorldPay and Mitsubishi from the corporate engagement team. So we need to work alongside more recent local alumni, um, recent graduates, to create more opportunities for people who have just graduated or about to, about to graduate. And that goes hand in hand with employability, but I'd create a CV writing workshop and create more local, national and international links, especially with the Mauritius and Dubai campuses to create more jobs and opportunities for our graduates in the future. Thank you. Okay, let's make it simple this time. Cuts, to cut the cost for the outside, like uh, other uh, shops, let's provide the NUS throughout the period of the study, right? Because everyone has suggested this thing. Second thing, low-cost vegan halal food, right? We need to provide much of the chains of it, and someone suggested me get the Nando's this time. <laughs> so for the international students, we need to provide them bursaries so that at least they can reduce their working hours and can get go out to uh, find a job, and more of job fairs, and companies will come this time not to show their flags, but to actually take your interviews. We don't want to see their logos at this time, right? And employability, we don't want to learn every alternative week how to make CVs. Right? Because employability is coming every alternative week and letting us know how to make CVs. We don't pay 9 grants or 11 grants for that. Right? So we want to make more proficient, we want more righteous things, like more proficient opportunities from the employabilities, companies actually. Right? Thank That's you very time. much. Um, employability as nurses, as anyone um, in third year, uh, 
employability is the biggest problem. We need to stand together and stand tall and create an employability that students love. I think all those three ideas uh, kind of come in, uh, connects to the idea of community. And looking at the, the food prices, uh, half of the food here I would actually throw away because it's a poison. So I would really encourage you to start looking at what is actually there. Um, I think charcoal is not really a problem. What it is to get is that this is to make money, this is not to make you happy. And what we can only do is to come together and actually feedback on that and create something for ourselves that comes from us. And use local community laws, use local shops and local partnerships and bring people who can sell healthier food, healthier options, and that is going to be cheaper because we're going to buy in a wholesome. International students, I really agree on the idea of community placements. This is a great way to do this. And internship as well, which is something I come from. Uh, in terms of employability, I want to create partnerships with students and we can create our own events That's here That's so time. that we go out That's okay. That's outside time. with them. That's time. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. So that is it um, for the hustings for the presidential candidates. So huge round of applause to all the candidates. Thank you so much.